If you've ever caught yourself saying, I always mess that part up, that is a big red flag that you need to spend more time using a practice technique called isolation. This is a practice strategy that if you use it right, can help save you from falling apart when you're performing for someone, and it might just be one of the things that's holding you back from leveling up as a player. Isolation is taking a hard part and removing everything easy around it so you don't waste any time playing what you can already nail. So stop playing your music over and over from beginning to end, and instead, do this. First, identify a trouble spot in your music. If you don't already know your trouble spots, it's pretty easy to diagnose. Just start playing through your music from beginning to end, and every time you mess up, ask yourself, was that a fluke, or does that happen often? If it happens often, mark it for isolation. So as an example, let's say I'm playing Led Zeppelin's Over the Hills and Far Away. That's that classic. But man, that intro is tough and it seems to always get me. I'm always messing up when I play it for people. So I'm gonna mark that intro for isolation. Step two, you need to isolate what you've identified by stripping it down to only the hard part and nothing else before or after. It could be just as small as two to three notes if it really needs to. The key is to not waste time playing anything that does not relate to what causes you problems. In my example, I can play the opening part pretty well. But this double pull off seems to always get me. There's the red flag, it always gets me. So I'm gonna zero in and isolate just these four notes. Step three, practice it repeatedly. I'm a big fan of getting a high quantity of reps here, and I would say at least a minimum of 10 times if you've got a really small passage. This is the best part about isolation though. In the amount of time it normally takes you to play the whole song or a big chunk of the song just one or two times, you could practice the small isolation passage 10 plus times and you can really get into the details and solve it. I hate to break it to you, but it takes this kind of deep focus on hard movement if you really want to iron it out. So in my example, as I practice these pull-offs, start to notice things. I notice subtle little things like, oh man, I got to counterbalance with my one finger as I pull the three finger. But I still need to leave some space to pull off there. I have to move to that fourth string really quickly, right after the last pull off, or oh, I could pick down and then up. And as I start working on the reps, oh, now I got it. It starts to make sense. And even if I didn't notice all that, the sheer quantity of reps that I'm doing here means that I'm gonna to start to optimize towards the best way to play it. Now contrast that with playing a bigger section where you might only get to your trouble spot once in the time it takes you to do 10 plus reps here. Big difference. Step four, repeat steps one through three, but with the next trouble spot. Unfortunately for us, everything that we work on has lots of trouble spots. So we're gonna to have to do this process a lot, which means that in the end, you're gonna be spending a lot more time working on isolation than you are on the easy stuff, but that's okay. That means you're doing it right. Now I'd like to hear from you. Comment below what you're working on, what's giving you trouble, and let's see if we can't figure out a way for you to isolate it and get it going better.